Okay guys, today we have a video traveling to Los Angeles, California to go meet up with my friend named DJ Ski, who has one of the craziest collections that I've ever seen in person. And this was not even half of the collection. And if you guys have never heard of DJ Ski, you will remember after today, he has done so many crazy things in his career. I'm gonna mention a few of them in the video when we get to his house. Since he had so many shoes, this is going to be a super chill long video of us going through all the different shoes, all the different stories. He has signed shoes from Michael Jordan. He has game worn rookie Kobe jerseys. It's insane. Nike Air Mag, so much more. So you guys have to just just sit down, relax, grab a snack, enjoy this video. It's probably an hour long, but it is so worth it because it is such a crazy amount of shoes that you guys have not seen before, shoes you have seen before. It's insane. He had Red October sent to him from Nike. Like, guys, the connections this guy has, he's so chill, so humble. He allowed us to come into his house and film his entire collection. He's even have some sneakers in a shower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go ahead and get into the video over to Los Angeles. What is good everybody? I'm here today with DJ Ski of Dash Radio. You may know him from a couple different things. First interviewer of people like Post Malone, Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, also one of the first investors in StockX. And uh, we're here today. Thank you for allowing us in your house. And look where we're at. Look at this garage alone. We have different sections. We have everything. Welcome. Man, you're in for a treat. I'm so excited to showcase you some of the gems that we got and go through some of the stories. Of course, we got all the hype and the stuff that people expect, but for you, I got something special. I'm excited because he gave us a little bit of a tour here and there, but there's so many shoes around here that we're gonna be focusing on the stories, things that he likes because that's what really matters with these sneakers, the stories behind him, and some of the stuff he's shown us already, it's incredible. So uh, wherever you wanna get started, we can jump in. We got a whole wall right here. You know, I'm seeing so many things that I wanna see, but let's, go, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, um, start it off. All right, one of my favorite shoes of all time. I'm a big baseball fan. King Griffey Jr. is my favorite athlete in general. So we'll start it off. I've had all of these. I've had these originals since they were a kid. The Air Griffey Max. I mean, you yep. can see the classic. These are a little old and aged at this point. It's a challenge I'm sitting on these shoes so yep. much, right? Like you get to see the vintage wear, but on some shoes it looks good, right? Like the old, kind of, some of the old like little aging cream and yellowing, but stuff's pretty organized. Mm -hmm. Over here, yeah, we'll start off with like some of the Nike basketball okay. stuff. So I've got all the typical LeBron stuff, LeBron elites, LeBron tins. I really started getting into LeBrons. I have the first ones and then passed out again, kind of till like the six, seven, eight, nine, mm -hmm. ten, eleven. 10, 11. So there's a bunch of those all over here. Um, some of the, th I really like like some of the LeBron, like the LeBron Dion's, yep. the collabs and the stories just because that merging and kind of that remix, crazy thing about this shoe, and it's not a likely candidate for this, is this is the reason that I am the way that I am and why I'm so obsessed with shoes, is because my mom wouldn't buy me this pair of shoes that this I wanted as a kid. One. <laughs> this exact pair of Charles Barkley shoes. So instead she took me to Payless to get my own pair of shoes and said I could customize them, so I customized them, put some stuff on there. <laughs> Didn't work out well, and ever since then, I've been addicted, but it's all ironically enough because of this Charles Barkley shoe that I did not get. So when they retro them, even though it's not like the most popular shoe, I had to have them just because of that story. God, I mean, everything down here, if you look at like original, and this is what's crazy when you look at the price on some of these. So this was bought at the Nike outlet. This is the original flight posits in silver, not retros when Nike was doing their alpha project. And you can see like 160 regular marked down to 99, second marked down to 80 bucks. Wouldn't happen nowadays. Definitely would not happen for- Classic. You know, some classic shoes right now that will, you know, there's always, I mean, we look at some of the old school Scotty Pippins, Gary Paytons. I grew up, you know, watching all these guys, Jordan, Pippin, Jason Kidd. So, I mean, not the rarest shoes ever, but just ones that I truly enjoy. This is, you know, the second pair that I have, so I still wear the originals. Like Air Pennies, as you can see, this was originally blue in the Orlando cover. But you know what's so crazy is that the glue and all that stuff starts coming out. Like, I can't touch it because it's all yep. <laughs> super crazy and sticky. And the air bubble here is just... Yeah, look at those air bubbles. Try to step on those. Yeah, you probably right. don't want to. And these are the thick air bubbles. And this is actually one of the few pairs over here that I have actually worn, but such an iconic pair. So that's kind of like what my background was and what I grew up with was all this iconic, you know, 90s basketball. Over here, we've got our way, I mean, it's a little of everything. We have Griffies, we have some KDs here. I really liked a lot of the early KDs, some KD4s. Um, got back into some of the original, like, or some of the newer KD9s there. Air Force, so here's some classic ones too. Everybody's on Air Force Ones right now. Yep, of course. What about the Air Force Two? Wow. So, this is, it's a big, thick shoe. 
You don't see many of those because I've had a, a few come through my inventory, but like you never really see any pairs that come through in that color. I love that colorway. You want to see University Bluish colorway? Such a one classic, such a classic one. And if you like that style, I'm actually surprised, especially with kind of the style of how shoes have gotten thicker with Air Force Ones coming mm -hmm. back. They haven't made a bigger push for the Air Force Two, and these are 100%. from yeah, these are from O2. So almost well, 20 years old now at this point. And this was this was actually the first retro because. They hadn't ever retroed the Air Force Two at the time. It's not as widely known as, of course, the Air Force One. There's some really cool lows that I have. This is what I get really excited about because this is a shoe that you're not going to see very often. This was actually an undefeated collab, wow. Air Force Two Low. They did a whole series of shoes in this colorway. Uh, I think, yeah, this was like in around... Yeah, 2003 these came out. So Air Force Two Low, uh, but this really cool colorway. I think they dropped three pairs of shoes at that, but this is something that like, you're not gonna find on StockX. You're not gonna yep. see really out in the marketplace in the stories and like when these came out, they sold out instantly back then just because it was like that early undefeated collab, but just things that aren't on the radar anymore. And especially yep. like a super low key pair. If you wear this, nobody else is, <laughs> nobody else is gonna understand or, or do those or see kind of the, the, I guess the importance of that. And taking it back, we have even some like fun stuff. Like I got these just because I thought Kevin Durant was gonna be a great player early on. Mm -hmm. So this was his first, it's not well, a KD shoe, it's the Blue Chip Supreme that they, which was a shoe, a basketball shoe Nike was making at the time that they put the KD and the 35 and things on and it's a little yellow, of course it's Oklahoma colors. Yep. Um, so I think this was his second season. Of course he was in Seattle his first season when they moved to Oklahoma. They gave him his first, Not a, it's not an Air KD, it's still the Blue Chip Supreme, but like, Things like that were fun, and it's almost like big into cards. So it's like buying a, a player's, I thought at the time, like their rookie card. Yep. So it's like, this is one to hold. I fell in love with the Foam Posit as a kid. Like the Foam Posit one, when I saw, I mean, I remember how controversial it was. There was a shoe that was gonna be $180, which yep. at the time, like, there was a backlash. The most expensive Jordan, I think, was like 150, and that was pushing it. So when Nike announced that they had a shoe that was $180, people went like, why are they gonna buy this? It sat on shelves, actually, for a while, but yep. there were moments where, of course, Penny wore it, and Penny at the time was like, the man, uh, but I remember like everyone in the NCAA tournament, Mike Bibby had an incredible run with Arizona, and he was sporting them. Like, it was just such an iconic shoe, so I've become obsessed with it, and I have a ton of foam posits ranging from you know, the foam posit ones, foam posit pros, you name it. Uh, we've got a bunch all over these. See, just some random ones will pull out. There, ooh, right there. A that's a good one right there. Yeah. Look at the colorway on that. And you can see the, the bottom's even a little faded now at this. That's how long they've been sitting there. But just such an iconic shoe, just that design. And it's crazy, but I haven't still liked it. Like, I actually like it as a basketball shoe. Really? Okay. A lot of people think it's too heavy and stuff, but I just like it fits. The foam posit material was meant to kind of engulf your feet in there. So yeah. I always found it really as good as a basketball shoe and like the, that, the cut of it was was fine. Uh, let's see what else is cool. We're just gonna randomly open these. Go for oh, it. there's, so this is the retros. We'll show you downstairs. We have yep. the original. So this is the first retros of the main colorway and that's still the best to me. Just that colorway, that iconic, yep. the, the story and the meaning behind it. What do you think about the, I would say, arguably most popular colorway, the Galaxy Foams? So you, we got them downstairs. Yeah, I, I, I figured you would. So the Galaxy Foams were so cool because it kind of rebirthed, I think like it was really the start of when sneaker culture took it to another level, right? Like people yep. waiting in lines and it not just being a Jordan shoe, it being like a, a different type of Nike shoe and the design was so crazy and it also took off like, set off the foam posit trend. And yep. Like yeah, some of the patterns and stuff got to be a little too much I think over the years, but yeah, it was crazy what that shoe did, not only for the foam posit, but I think for sneaker culture as a whole and really gave birth to this generation of what you're seeing with even like the stock X's and things and made a place for them, so. Just it did so much for the for the culture then. I agree, and I don't know if you've seen. Uh, some people think there's a second wave of the foam posits coming because you have people like Virgil wearing some pairs, yeah. some photos going around. I don't know if it'll happen, but I, I've seen the talkings. I hope so. I got enough, so <laughs> yeah, you, hopefully, you, wise price will go up. <laughs> I love these. So when these first came out, these were in such high demand, and then they retroed them a couple times, and, and like you can actually get them cheaper. So this is probably steel, but it's the eggplant color foam posits. Mm -hmm. So there was originally a sample of them in this color, as long as the blue ones, and when they came out with this, there's just a big story that the sneaker community at the time and this is like all Nike talk and back in the days and that was the only place we had to like connect and express ourselves everybody went crazy when that original kind of uh, eggplant colorway came around looking at what we have on feet today we're both wearing Nike SBs yeah he brought them out because I'm wearing them yeah I figured we could kind of go towards your Nike SB section you have out mm -hmm. here I know you have them in different sections of the house unless you had any other pairs here you want to showcase see. Kobe ones so we got some original Kobe ones some zoom Kobe's if you want to see. I mean what's interesting about this is Kobe's first shoe with Nike wasn't 
that like aesthetically pleasing as some of his later models. And it was cut a little higher, so and you can see like. So it's yep. like the white and gray. I think this is the, no, the red one is the all-star colorway, so we've got those. But, you know, it's, it's one of those shoes that now you look back on and it's like, you just kind of hold. I mean, yeah, Kobe 1's my favorite silhouette of some of the Kobe's. There's some other cool ones. Like, I'm trying to think of the other Kobe's that I really like. Like, I liked the uh, Invisibility Cloak ones. So I think this is actually what I wore to Kobe's last game. So right. I had the honor of going there, one of my good friends, Turioff, and... I remember I got the call the day that the game, he's like, what are you doing tonight? I was like, oh, you know, just, you know, chilling at home. He's like, you wanna come to the game? I was like, I was thinking about it, but pick, like, it's like, it's crazy, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, come with me. So, and Kobe, as you know, like Ronnie was one of, I think Kobe said he had five friends in the NBA and Kobe was one of them. So to go to the game and go with Ronnie too. And I'd worked with Kobe over the years, had done, we did a, uh, a whole charity thing with Mark Cuban, um, a sit down with Jimmy Kimmel that we produced together. And he was always just such a great guy and inspiration for LA. So being there, and I remember watching the first few shots and I was like, Maybe you should have written it up for, you know, a year before. And then watching what happened there and being there, I remember walking under the court before the game and it's like, everybody's there, like Kanye, it's like, Kanye's right in front of us with the shirt that everybody wanted now, right? Yep. Like the, the, the Kobe, uh, the yellow and the gold yellow, Kobe yep. shirt. Yep. With the Kanye font on it. Yep, yep, exactly, it was incredible. And then as the game was ending, we went to the family room. So I remember watching the last couple plays because they were gonna bring out all the players in the court. So watching it in the family room with all the NBA legends, with his family, with all the, like every celebrity in the world and stuff was just like iconic. So that's why those two shoes are special because that's what I had on my feet at that time. Oh, that's awesome. Nice little SB section up here. These are some of the boxes that, you know, stick out to somebody like me and Nick. Nick and I are really, you know, fans of the, uh, the SB wave right now. And we've got a lot of OGs over here. Let's see what we got. I mean, the door box, we got the Habibis right there. Of course, incredible. Shout out to everybody in the UAE. So I got that for the next time I'm over in Abu Dhabi. Uh, Chun-Li's. Lucky, That's, I love these, right? Those are awesome. That color Such is just a amazing. sick colorway. Yeah, it's just a fire pair. So what we got. So this is what I'm wearing on my feet. So. You can see the price, $99.99. These are from the 118 board shop in Granada Hills. So, so right when I moved to LA, they came out with this. And I remember I was a big dunk head. And as you can see, like these are all non SB dunks behind me. So when they came out with this, I was like, oh wow, they're actually gonna be a comfortable dunk. It had the zoom air inside, the thicker tongue. I was all over it. And at the time I bought a bunch of them that I could, but I really wanted this color just cause I love the white and the blue, but I ended up, they were sold out. So I ended up with the other color. So I remember I was trading them online and I found a guy who bought a ton of these and was down to trade me for another color. And it was the first person I met in LA. So I remember pulling up and by the way, at the time I just moved out, I thought I was cool. I had like an older, like old body style, like Cadillac Escalade or something. And then I pulled up, this guy's in a brand new truck and stuff. And I'm like, oh wow. I was like, oh, you got the Escalade? Mine, my, my, that's the old body style. I got the new one. But I was like, all right, cool. And he's like, can't tell anybody who I am. I'm like, who are you? He's like, I'm Ben Baller. Oh so, my God. That's shout incredible. Shout out to my guy, Ben. It's my first guy. The first trade. That's great. Ben legitimately was the first guy to run around. He knew how limited they were and bought up stock everywhere yep. else. I mean, he spent a ridiculous amount of money. And I just wanted more of that color because I bought a, a few of the others. But I knew, and I was selling them on the side too because um, I couldn't afford my rent when I was a young kid moving in LA. But, uh, you know, that was, you know, Ben was the first person I met in LA. And it was because of this shoe right here. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And I just love like, you see like blue is my favorite color and just yep. such a clean summer shirt. It is. I've seen you've had, I've seen a couple of those already laying around yeah. in different sections. <laughs> yep, so. exactly. We've got them all over. And then yep. like you dive in, I mean, random things like the burgundy ones over the years. You're gonna love these. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Pigs fly, right? So. Incredible pair right there. And that box too, the way that the box ages. And yeah, and you can see too the aging of some of the boxes, right? Like yep. mine have been sitting in my garage, so some of the sun gets in even though it's not direct on it. And they don't always turn out the best, but sometimes that's what makes it special. So I love these because you can see that I'm actually buying these. So no, I actually buy my shoes. They don't all come free, <laughs> unfortunately. Everybody's like, oh, they just hook you up. Like, you can see these are speed seats. And I go all over. This is from Atlas, even though this is from, I love this because I grew up in Minnesota, so they the Blue Ox. Mm -hmm. So, and they've got a crazy print shoe coming out this year. So I'm really excited for that. But beyond the SB dunks, like what's really fun are some of these old school, like just dunk lows. Like these are 3M, so not SBs, but dunk lows from, I'd say around like 2003, 2004 era. Um, you're on the year, but like 3M material was just so fly at the time. For Nike Town LA. So they used to put a sticker on where you, or stamp where you'd buy them. So just cool, like different little silhouettes. And this is what's fun is that you're not gonna see them. You're not gonna find them in other places, but 100%. dig them out, come in. Like these are just so clean, right? That's like so with the cool. patent, like the little gray and 
just styles. And these were, I think, a finish line exclusive back in the day. This is what it was. They should be patent gray ones. Yep. Yep. That so, leather is crazy. So sick. So That's soft. Cool gray, and this is around the time the first Jordan 11 cool grays came out. So this was a dunk in that, and just like the white silhouette, like a beautiful shoe. Now you can see it's a little <laughs> yellow, yellow and aged, yeah. but kind of on some of the shoes, as long as it's like even aging, it gives it a little bite. So these yeah. are really sick. So like a French one, but look at the material on this, right? Like that is odd. That looks very it's thin crazy, too. Crazy, right? Yeah, and like the inside's like a premium Supreme version with a leather, and it's not Supreme the brand. This is what they'd actually, if you look in the box, they were all called Nike Dunk High Supreme, which was a little of the higher end versions of it, and a lot of them had it at the time. But yeah, these were like a French version, and random dunk. I don't even know, I don't know the story on this. That's, those are a lot, I never even seen these before. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's so fun when we go through these collections, right? Like you find stuff that, like if I entered this on StockX or anything, it's you wouldn't have. It probably wouldn't be on there, but if you wanted to try to find it, like what are you gonna type in? Black, yeah. like SB Dunk. Yeah, with Dunk High Supreme, like yeah. that's definitely not gonna pop up. So the things over there, I mean, we dig through this, there's a bunch of like, I love a lot of the old school trainers. Like we'll take it back, here's some old school. I'm just looking by boxes, so. Yep. I mean, that's like a, a premium leather one. There was some real fun. I think this was another. So these came out at the same time the Air Force Twos yep. did. And I just love this colorway. Oh, and it's crazy. weird because it's like the low trainer SC, which you mm -hmm. don't see very often. But again, a shoe that you're not going to find. Like very limited at release, undefeated exclusive, 2003 era. In a color, like just doesn't exist. A lot of the stuff that he's showing, this is like original stuff, but he also has a lot of the current hype stuff. But you guys see that a lot online and whatnot. And it's really interesting to see kind of the more, you know, OG stuff. Yeah, and that's what I have fun with, right? It's like all those stories. And I mean, like, look, these are all just foam posits right here. We're just sitting on stuff. This is all Air Max 1s. My favorite Air Max silhouettes are 97s, which are here, 95s, and 90s, which is basically all of Everybody's got stuff. 90s are fun. 90s are fun. We've got some fun 90s stuff. So I'm going to pull out, and again, you just look in the, the old school days. Like, I got these from Sporty LA. They actually let me roam their back stock room one day cool. so they had a bunch of stuff hidden they had a whole like storage warehouse so there's like all these random colorways and things that we my other job i get to dj and do all the entertainment for the vikings yep so of course. you gotta come out <laughs> we got with the vikings like edition and i remember when StockX first launched we actually I had all the vikings players sign one of these and we did a charity auction um i believe it was for a hurricane relief or something so even like remember when roshis were hot it's crazy oh, how they fell off but like roshis were the hot and then they went down and getting the <laughs> and went to, dollars like, at the outlets nothing it was yeah. like yo so when they were hot i was like buying them all especially because they were cheap and just comfortable and easy and now i'm stuck with all of these that i haven't pulled out probably in a, a little while so hopefully they'll come back I think it was Roshi's turned into the Ultra Boost. That was like yeah. the, the super popular well, the way. Same thing, and those right? Kind of fell off as well. Yeah, it's like in the overproduction of it. NMDs too. Like speaking yeah. of NMDs, same thing. right? Like Adidas even calls it internally. Like I've heard they don't NMD the shoe because they came out with too many. Luckily, yeah. they didn't do it for for these ones. Yes, like, even race. Of course, just he's come out with a lot of different colors, but I think those have held their own. And as 100%. far as um, the different colorways that they came out with, yeah, yeah the, the blues blue ones are clean. Yeah, the these first are very hard to come by. Yeah, the first wave of the NMDs, especially the Human Race ones, were great, but yeah, the NMDs, I remember I had the original like black colorway and uh, they just like died, they used to go crazy. Back in the day, the, you remember when that was a craze, yep. the Yeezy, the Yeezy. FB, There was Air even Max a Roshi one. run version of that as well. 100%, I've got it somewhere sitting around, so. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like some stuff that we have from our friends at Sneaker Room. They always do their charity pairs, so mm -hmm. we had to support them and go buy those. A bunch more Kobe's, some OG like Kobe 5's, some more Griffey's. Over here is kind of, kind of fun because now we start to get out of the, the base Nikes and I mean you can see some of the 11s that are just like yep. stashed I ran out of storage room for them so we just have them kind of like sitting there chilling but over here is like I think this is all pretty much 11s this is all 11 lows you guys can I'll pass you out some of these OGs and you can open them up and see what they are University and we'll Blue. see how they've aged right like these yep. are the original original ones first retro so it's crazy so this is the retro card but this was the promo sticker that it came with so oh, you can see sweet. the date that it came yeah. back when I stick it but you can see and actually the aging isn't as bad on these as it is on and this is 21 years old at this point right yeah. on, on some of the other models it's so weird on like based on materials how how certain one you get a 90s this is a sick pair especially that's Olympics really coming, crazy. right what, that, that, that material too so fire this is one of my favorite 90s ever and again like Stuff that's kind of low key that not a lot of people are looking for, but you know, check out this box in the 90s. I just love this colorway. I got these in like 2001. I used to cram them in there. Small yeah, box. Yeah, like look at that small box. But just this colorway is so sick with the blue and the orange, right? Yep. Now it's uh, a retro vintage. I was like, I'm not going to wear it, I'm saving it now. 
Sometimes if you wait too long, it just doesn't Can't end wear up well. So yeah. wear your shoes. So these are the original Lightning <laughs> like, uh, 11 lows. And I'll show you a cool pair that, that I have come that they, they made, but this is the original ones from back in the day. And I didn't go back. The crazy thing about like a lot of these is I didn't go back and like buy them later on. I bought these the day they came out. This is that actual yep. same pair. These are crazy. Like again, this was a woman's pair with like cherry Sorry. blossoms. You're never gonna see these. I never even saw these. I don't even remember when these came out. I found these again in that sporty LA kind of storage run that my boy from Shoes Shoesium Jordy took me through. And again, just like, that's what's fun about this. So Chris Weber broke, he, he did a deal with Dada, which was a shoe brand at the time. This has to be 2000 era, right? 2001, something like that. Um, All-Star game, he comes out in these shoes that are all chrome and it's these shoes. Um, they actually start chipping, so I don't think he even like finishes the game in them. Like, see if we can even open the box, that's how. I'm gonna have to take it apart. But I mean, like, look at how, like, 2000 this is. It says Trizade Mizark. <laughs> Chris Weber, like. Trizade. This is like. Oh my gosh, these look are Look at ridiculous. those, right? <laughs> those are so bright. Yeah, and you can't wear them because they'll chip. They Crazy. literally took a, they took like spray paint over them and did it. Like if you look at the quality of them, like you can see it's like spray painted. So if you wear them, the paint will chip. Remember how like dope these were when they first the reselling it on these. Black, red, and white. Black, red, and blue. Jeremy Scott's back with Adidas, so I've never worn these. I could never wear these, but I still got them just because they're like the most ridiculous shoes ever. So. <laughs> look at that. Incredible. Right. There's so many different iterations with these, and so many. This was actually the. LeBron edition right here. So you can see LeBron with the LJ, L23J. So they made this for him, not this specific pair, but they made this pair for him when there was a bidding war between Nike had, or LeBron had signed to, to anybody. Mm -hmm. He was wearing Adidas in high school because they were a sponsor. Nike of course came with it, but Reebok made a pitch at them. And so they made a shoe like that. So check out these cleats. Whoa. Oh my God. I dig in there. Eight <laughs> zero Snoop. uncaged. Snoop Dogg got the dog on there. Oh my gosh. Look yeah, what else? Yeah, they give you those ones. There's some crazy ones. There's like all gold ones. There's money ones that I've gotten. Reebok actually had one of the early deals with Kendrick Lamar. So these were the Kendrick nope. Lamar. Remember what you can see these, like the TDE shoe. One red, one blue from mm -hmm. Bloods and Crips. So I don't know what happened to that deal. It's still like the weirdest thing. It like yeah. came and then like you did a Nike shoe. And taking it back old school, I remember when the original like DMX runners came out. And they had this new technology with Iverson, so it was actually a really sick shoe. So they retroed them once, I grabbed them. Again, like, not many people know, but back in the day, like, these were actually, like, Reebok was cool. Like, these were actually <laughs> cool back then. So we've only made it through, like, one of the three <laughs> areas so far. So we checked out a bunch of different cool things here in the garage. We're gonna go ahead and transition to some of the other different areas with more unique stuff. We got some expensive sneakers, we got some side sneakers. Let's go ahead to those areas. Let's go. All right guys, so we made it down to the downstairs area. We have a bunch of different cabinets that kind of scale all the way up to the ceiling. And I'm told this is where a lot of different sneakers are kept. So explain kind of what we have going on here. So this is like the top shelf of my collection if this was a wine collection. I don't drink, so instead of building a wine cellar, I built a shoe cellar and uh, there we go. it's a little everything some, from some of my favorites to some items that I think you and everybody out there is gonna go crazy over. Ooh. But as mentioned, like look, sentimental stuff. This was the first pair of original foam posits and you can see the tag that I bought from Champs in the Mall of America when I was a kid. It still held up nicely over that. Yep. This is the pair like not repurchased like from the OG days. Wow. Cool things like this. This shoe was so crazy and everybody went nuts on it until they kind of messed up the retro. Yep. The, the OG Snake 11 still with the card. Like, like just the cut of it, but the, the retro wasn't right. The OGs are so much better in this, but it's just so unfortunate when those things happen. I mean, you go through this, you'll see, I mean, I always wear. love this, right? It's Primo Tempos, exactly. all gold. Such a great shoe. I got those for Gold Rush Rally, which is a car rally that I do. So it's like the perfect, most blinged out, crazy <laughs> shoe for you, <laughs> you to see on those things. Let exactly. me just scroll through here and see. Ooh, they're like Atmos. 90s. And what's so rare about these ones is that um, when they came out, they were Japanese released from, from Atmos. So they only were, in, it was very tough to get in bigger sizes and they don't come in, it's really tough to get half sizes after 11. It's generally they stop at 11, they don't make half sizes. So. That's a size 12, which was tough to track down. Uh, I think we talked about this one a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go, Galaxy Foams. I would say arguably the most popular foam posit, yeah. or most hyped foam posit. 100%, it kind of re like reinvigorated the whole shoe scene when that dropped. I mean, we've got a bunch of random heat, like these are fire, not a lot of people know about them, but the milk crate. 
Those are so, crazy. I don't. I've never seen those before. The story on these is they made them after uh, you know uh, the designer and stuff, and they put him like missing on the back. That's why they're called the milk crate. I mean, if you look it up, it's phenomenal. The Japanese version. So um, just a really cool like low key pair that you're not going to see a lot of times, but that have crazy stories. Now, when LeBron came in the league, knew he was going to be the one, so had to grab these and not yep. wear them. Classic. First ones, and they came with this. Look at LeBron in the white, <laughs> oversized sick. baggy. Sweat that suit. was the look back then. Yeah, Jordans were coming with retro cards, so they gave like a, a first card for LeBron and still OG ones those. And then this is the actual first LeBrons that he wore in game. So these ones are a little worn, but I think these are gonna come back someday. I mean, lots of special stuff. We have player editions. Of course, Oregon always gets the best ones. So those are the duck <laughs> phone posits. I mean, we've got some stuff from the homie KD, all-star. I mean, when this whole like, I guess, you know, what was this, the, when the, when the All-Star game was in Houston, they did the entire uh, All-Star Galaxy pack, it was just phenomenal, and that's when the Galaxy phones came out, so all those releases were crazy, but if we kind of like look everywhere in here, right, like, you'll see more top shelf items. Like this. Yeah, so these are the first Jordan 1 retros in black and They color. are Royals. And you can see these are from 2001. They still held up so tight. And what's great about them is not only the quality um, and that they still look like a new pair and arguably better leather quality. You can see the Jordan's like embossed in a different way versus how they do it today. You can see the individual numbering of it. They got 11, 725. And then this is like a lot puffier of a material from yeah. you know nowadays and a lot more like puffy on the ankle liner. And they came so. with a little, uh, <laughs> I guess, key locks right there, the jump, the jump mats. These look like the 16, 17 pair, like literally yeah. this looks the same. Besides that, but like how they've held up. Such a sick pair. And just having it individually numbered and, and an official number on it, which is really nice because then you can see how truly rare it is. I mean, stuff like this is gonna be fun to look at oh. over the years. That, that aged so well. Know, Check that out. Cool. Look at the cream there. And then you obviously have the outsole. The outsole is nice and aged. This happens so much with 11s and yeah. I feel like it's kind of inevitable. And speaking of that, I haven't opened up this one in forever, so I'm kind of nervous to see how it looks. It could be like that. <laughs> 2000, I think it's 2001. For 20 years, Ooh. wow, look at that. This would actually look These nice. Look so good. I love that the color, you know, the difference in color there. You have like the light yeah. blue. That So originally this color a lot lighter than this. Yeah, it was original white. It was like this, right? Like, like it matched everything else. There would be no difference when you first saw those. So. I kind of like that better. It looks kind of clean, right? It's really good. Yeah, yeah. so it's nice. And now, like, I guess if you age them after a little while, they still, you know, yeah. it comes back to it. Yeah. So. It's like wine, so it's truly like fitting for a wine cell. Wine cell, yeah. Anyways, this is always fun when you see what the tag is on. Oh, Duke Player Edition. Those Kobe's. Sweet Kobe. So shout to the Duke team. I think that was the year with Kyrie and a bunch of others. I mean, we've got heat all the way to the top. So there's no shortage of variety. You don't, you're not very particular to like a model or anything. Like you're down for anything with the store, anything that, you know, relates to something that you like about shoes. Totally, I mean, you can see like SBs is what I'm wearing and what you're wearing. And I've had these again, a pair that I got day one. These oh, are the geez. first SBs. There was four pack, there was four colors that came out that day. This was the Supas that, you know, just incredible in such an iconic colorway. Uh, more I've SBs. never seen the Supas and like anybody have the Supas. No. Same with these, and this is like the third pair. I'm wearing one, you yeah. saw one in the garage. Obviously, my, one of my favorite colorways. Uh, and then to round it out. Oh, those are so right? beautiful. The materials. This was wow. part of that. These were three of the first, first four ever done. So yeah, for me, it's like everything. And then, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have great friends and mentors, people like Mr. Cartoon, who's, you know, most iconic artist of all time, so. And the fact that he even wrote that on some of these pairs, and this was a sample pair of some Cortezes, um, some Aztec Cortezes. I mean, you go in and you see some iconic pairs of his. So this was his first Air Force One. He did that LA logo and design. I mean, the whole box is crazy with like the little drawstring tag. What's really special about this specific pair though, is that this was kind of a sample. So if you notice, of course, it's like a beautiful Air Force One and just a crazy classic OG LA colorway, um, but it has the spider webs on the tongue and Marvel actually has a patent on that. So they sued my Nike and sent a cease and desist. So the ones that, act, it, although it was like a commercial release, super limited, that those versions that came out did not have the spider webs on the tongue, so, or on the, uh, on the toe box. So you will you know, not see this very often and shout to Cartoon for, for signing it. So just a grail to me, I mean. 
more stuff from him. This is cool because it's 5505, and that's how old these pairs were. That's crazy. And he's been somebody that's, you know, so inspirational and great to, to me and so many other artists. He's doing this Topps Project 70 thing with me, so he's great. But from Air Force Ones and like SBs to basketball shoes. Original Grinches. Original ones, right? You can see these have been worn quite often. So just such an iconic pair. Luckily they've retroed those. But these might be my favorite Kobe's of my own. So every year in soccer, of course, all the top teams have alternate jerseys. And this year, Barcelona had a mango jersey. So, so Kobe's sick. a big Barcelona fan. And this is the mango. Kobe's, which is one of the rarest versions you'll ever see of this shoe. You actually see the FCD logo behind it, which is really, really cool. So, like, fire. And just, it looks so clean and yeah, so that bold. Color pops. Yeah, it just works so well on that shoe. No tags, so. Oh, this was a sample. So this is a sample of the floor before they came out. Uh, let's see. More stuff right there. See, sometimes I get lucky and they hook me up with things. So, friends and family, PSG. Jordan 5s, so the ones that came out were the all black colorway. They did the white and black for friends and family there, so shout out to the homies over there. I mean, you know, we've got stuff that everybody knows. I mean, of course, like the Cause Jordans, yep. um, Air Max 97s, more Air Force 1s, Kobe's, Air Max 90s. Uh, let's see, what's really fun though is this is a pair you're not going to see, at least in our size, right? Yep. So I remember when the first partnered with Vogue and did this super special Jordan 3. You see like the Vogue edition boxes on there. It's a women's shoe. And unfortunately for anybody that's over a size 10 and a half, you're out of luck. Sneakers app only goes up to a 12. I don't even think they made very many of these for men's. At the, I mean, it was a super limited shoe at the time. So when I got the call that they had one in my size, I was just, just blown away. And this is like, the definition of a red carpet shoe. And just look at all the packaging, the Vogue boxes on there, the, you know, the tissue paper with the Anna Wintour signature. And I mean, just such a, a bold and crazy shoe. The and sparkles just, on those. Yeah, That's it's just cool. ridiculous up close. I mean, definitely not like an everyday shoe, but for the right occasion, it's just fire and you're not like fortunate enough to get these. You're not gonna see these every day, especially in, in a size that I can actually wear. That's what you see in Flight Club in their uh, their heat case, if yeah, they have it. Exactly, and even then it's probably gonna be a smaller size of that. I mean, we make our way down here, like this box is beat up, but it's the original. Uh, I guess we'll show you something later, but we'll, we'll yeah. give us a little sneak peek inside of these Hyper Dunks. It's the Back to the Future editions. The Air Mags before the Air Mags. Mm -hmm. And then, this is a fun pair, right? Aston Martin. So it's so cool that they actually got the Aston Martin logo and branding on there. This is the shoe that came out, of course, after that incredible, probably the best Kobe commercial ever, where he jumps over the car. Yep. Shout out to my boy, Ronnie Turioff, who's actually there in with Kobe in that shoot. Um, you're gonna like these. So this is actually the first pair of Marshall Mathers Nike shoes, the M&M Air Bursts. So awesome. I couldn't get them in my size originally when they came out. They were numbered out of 500. They were done for a charity auction right when the Marshall Mathers LP came out. Eminem loved the burst. He designed this colorway. As you can see, we'll show you the aging in a second, but the Air Slim Shady. Yep. This is way That's before the so Jordan sick. 4. Like you see the M&M E in there. Uh, shady Records in the bottom. Unfortunately, a little bit of crumbling. time, a little crumbling. We gotta get these restored. It has a little E on the lace locks. I still have like the tag that came with it that shows, I think it might be individually numbered somewhere. If not, it is on the tag. Um, but just such an iconic shoe that again, you're not gonna find very often. I still have the original like cassette promo tapes from Slim Shady LP from Stretch Armstrong, who's a DJ that really put me on early on. So shout out to him. And I got actually two sizes of those. That was one where, I was lucky enough to go walking around and Fight Club happened to have one in size 12, so that's why you see the Fight Club tag. And you can see it was only 250 at the time back in the at day. At Fight Club? At Fight Club. That's, because a lot of people insane. didn't realize on that shoe, so much, much more now. I mean, you can see in here, of course, like USA Edition Hyperfuse Air Max 90s, which have just gone for crazy prices. Home is a trophy room, so we've got like the trophy room 23s, which I really, really like. Uh, we've got the white ones in here somewhere. This is one for you, you'll love these. Christmas cookies, look at that box. <laughs> Concepts, of course, and this is the special box that they come with some of their shoes. So you can see it even came with like a Christmas drink cooler. Ugly sweater dunks. Look at those. I, Concepts always has the craziest boxes when it comes to the sneakers they release, so uh, this is no you know, surprise to me, but 
This is like only on Christmas Day can you wear these. 100%. It's such a unique one. Exactly. I've, worn, I've got all three. I think there's three Christmas dunk pairs. It's one of my favorite releases all the time just because, yeah, like you said, you can only wear it at that one time, but it's so good. There's some other cool SV boxes from guys at Atlas. So this box is just sick because of, again, if you get some of the special SVs when they come with like the friends and family boxes, they're just fire. This one actually comes with the 35. Uh, millimeter, uh, you know, I guess a dunk, but like everything in here is just crazy. The, of course, the shoe itself, but the packaging is what's special and fun about these. So this is something you're not going to see very often. It's a Dunk High Stussy done in like a super premium leather, super limited release around like, I'd say 2002. And you're not going to find these on StockX, go anywhere else, but just super high premium quality leather, very limited release, snakeskin dunk, and just a clean, clean colorway. So these are the ones that I love just because People don't know about them and you won't yep. see them probably. This might be the last time you see them out there. And when we look through this shelf, dig up here. We've got Travis Scott. Uh, what is that? The Travis Scott 6, Travis Scott 4s. Some dunks up here. Uh oh. I see oh, some colors go. that cameraman Nick likes. <laughs> there we go for Nick right there. Wearing them. Oh, I love it. I love it. And just a bunch of random stuff. More trophy room stuff, some custom stuff up there from Shoe Surgeon and C's. So some more modern hype stuff in there. Yeah. The Travis's and then also obviously mm -hmm. all the classic stuff. Yeah, and you guys have all seen that, so yeah. we only got a limited time. We're just keeping it for the best stuff. And kind of in here is where the, the real, real fire heat is. So you can see, of course, Union 4s. Yep. We'll pull out the Union ones just because. Which colorway? The best colorway. The red and black. Do you like the blue pair or the black pair better? <laughs> I had to get the black one, right? It's so clean. I mean, the blue is great too, but I mean, it just so fits well. It just fits so well with the OG Jordans, right? Easier like, wear. Yeah. It's easier wear. It tells a better story. Um, these are, of course, incredible. And you can see the original box of them, right? Like the. Let's pull them out. The first Yeezy 350s, and Kanye actually has something in his deal with Adidas where they can't retro these. So these are always going to be rare, no matter what. Like he was very cautious and saw what happened with the NMDs, what Nike's done with certain shoes. So he made it in there that unless he authorizes it or it's something special, I don't think you'll ever see these ones again. And those are dead stock, right? Dead stock, brand new. Once wow. I found that out, I was like, All right, I'm probably going <laughs> to hold on to these because they'll be something special. Make our way again. Let's see. The special tag. That's always a good sign. Especially when you open that box for the first time and you don't know what it is. So, in here we have more friends and family. This is the K54, which is the kind of illest summer basketball tournament. It's in France. Kobe's been there. Jordan's been there. Just an incredible one. The, the, the regular release of these threes was black, and this is the friends and family white edition. Uh, speaking of K54, I think there's another special tag over here. These ones are some Jordan ones. And the oh, color blocking is just crazy. Those are insane. The material is so premium, so you get leather, suede, it's just phenomenal. Those are some that I like rarely ever see. Super rare. Again, friends and family only. I think they're numbered out of like 100 and something. I mean, you can see. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's a sick, sick shoe, and you can kind of, you know, grab them before the hype goes too crazy on them. Let's see what else we got. I mean, I still just love the 23s. 23s yeah. It's one of those, like, nobody else likes them but me, but I just think it's cool, <laughs> and the colorway on this is ridiculous. They're a good shoe to play basketball in. Uh, so this, I got, and I thought it was crazy for spending like 800 bucks. I just love oh the colorway gosh. so much. And now it's skyrocketing. Oh, you paid $800 for those? <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely insane. They're probably eight grand at this point. I know, it's insane, right? And that's why I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wear them. Then they keep going up, right? I should have got the uh, the pink ones, the mm -hmm. rust pink ones, but still my favorite colorway is like these blues, these teals, these greens, and just like an iconic colorway. And I was actually at the store the other day and they're bringing them, like they have like a fake mid version of these out yeah, right yeah. now, but. Um, uh, hasn't diluted these yet. Nope. You guys are like this just because of the little logo that we have oh. dent on there. Originals, yeah. little fragments. Exactly. And you can still see like the tag that I have with them all, right? So crazy shoes back there. I mean, we have a ton of ones. You saw the black and red, black and blues. Look at the color, how the red really pops out on this. Yeah, and these are individually forever. numbered, but this was from 2001. Individually numbered, I think, out of 50,000, but just the color scheme is crazy. Original three mochas, fours, the laser fours, which have held up actually decently. They're probably not gonna last that much longer, so. They look pretty good, though. I better make use of them. Uh, these are cool, we talked about 23s, but these are numbered. They made 23 times 23, so 529. Um, individually numbered, and just, if you hold these, just feel how heavy they are oh, with them. 
is they have the shoe tone. The wooden insert yeah. there are so heavy. And you can see like people lined up. Only a few stores got these and I think they're all individually numbered on this tag. This is literally like five pounds. Yeah, you can see this number is 350 of 529. So just such a rare shoe. They did this because it was supposed to be the last Air Jordan. That was the thing at the time. And this was the finale one. Black and red. So these are special to me. I grew up in Minnesota. Garnett was a Nike athlete. This was his first signature shoe. He wore other shoes, as you'll see, but this is the Air Garnett one. Uh, still brand new and dead stock. I actually picked these up from somebody you see, never even laced. Just an iconic Minnesota Timberwolves colorway for the few fans of us <laughs> out there. But you won't see these again retro because Nike and Garnett broke up. Um, not a tremendously popular shoes, but have a couple of the colorways. This is a other white, green, and blue one. And just special to me because it had so many memories as a kid. Supreme Fives. A little hype in there. All white. Yep. So, you know that. These right here are probably my favorite. If I had to wear like one pair for the rest of my life, it would probably without a doubt be these. Because it's not only the Jordan 11 that we all know and love. This is the DMP pack, but it's the white and gold. You get the white and gold on it, which is just those gold accents instead of the Concord. Make it pop off. You get the black on the bottom. As you can see, I've worn these several times, which is such a clean colorway, and the packaging is ridiculous. It comes with the gold little dog tags, a booklet, and of course the six that also just recently came out, but probably my favorite pair. It's very clean for ever made. Yeah, it's just incredible. All right, you're gonna like these ones too. These are a little special, and people forgot about them recently. So, this was the Bin 23 Premio Pack, and this was the Jordan 9 version in here, which again, I love this like white and gold color blocking, so you hold that, you'll look inside and you'll just see how heavy they are. I mean, they come with these premium bags. They're made of like special Italian leather and they all have this little like Premio Bin 23 kind of ink stain marking on them. Another one, five pound shoe with it. Yeah, it's crazy. Just look at the quality like inside. The colorway is really cool on those. In that same pack, we got the 20, uh, 13s, which is, this is like a crazy color, but it works I think really well for that shoe. So, bin 23 colorway. Oh, whoops, this is the five. I'll show you the 23. So, the five was a little more generic, but just super high quality leather. And you, you see the differences in that on the back. It kind of looks like the off-white five that recently came 100%. out. 100%. Similar, yeah. 100%. It's probably, it's probably a lot of inspiration. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That taken by them. And then, this is one that I love. I just love the 13, as you'll see. It's just such a unique colorway. And I wouldn't typically go for this, but it just works for some reason. And again, the quality, you can just see like inside how premium it is, the leather, the suede, the color blocking is just ridiculous. And of course the inside, the little all wood, you know, Jordan. All of these are so heavy. heavy. Yeah, it's super, super heavy. So you got LeBron's, so this is my favorite LeBron South Beach ever. This is the original South Beaches. So this is, this one's kind of special to me. Not because it's worth a ton of money or anything, but this was the shoe that I actually got my first job in when I was a teenager for Steve Rifkin. I sent him a letter on what he was doing wrong with Loud Records. He loved it so much, he flew me to New York and offered me a job when I was in high school. So I figured a way to graduate high school early. I ditched high school for my first meeting with him and wore these all across New York City to meet with him. So this is actually, you know what? These aren't the original ones. I bought a pair of original ones because they were so special because I beat the OG ones up, but this isn't the retro one. But Probably my favorite, you know, just most worn ones. I was so glad when they brought them out. And these, if you look in the box, we'll say it was Jordan 4 Retro Plus. So at the time, they were only doing retros of the original colorways. Anything that was a new colorway, they'd put Retro Plus on it. So really cool pair, and I just love that navy blue, that Columbia, and the white leather on it. It's just so premium. So as you'll see when we go into my closet, that's one that's like an everyday wear. And I'm mean, gonna I guess we'll end it on the bottom with couple pairs of oh, Yeezys, right? Easy twos right there. This is one of my favorite colorways. So incredible. I was fortunate enough to get a couple of those in the gray, but I know I got something up here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. So if you like that, then you'll love this. So I still kept it in the original box. It came to me, DJ Ski, my old studio address, the Ski Lodge back in Hollywood, just to prove that it's authentic and you can see it's from Nike. And when you open it up, and again, authentic, I got it. Compliments of is it Nike. This was like the most special one I ever got in the mail because I didn't know what's coming. They're like, hey, what's your address? Like, this is coming. Like, All right, and then I open the box and imagine getting something in the mail and you open it up and you see this. Oh my gosh. 
right? That's insane. Insane. This is of course like when it came out or when it didn't come out because the release was canceled and then put online for two seconds, but just, you know. Dead stock still. Dead stock. And still like the pack colorway is just so fire, but. One of the most iconic it. Nike Yeezys, I would say. I think, yeah, and I think this out of every Yeezy ever made, this is the one that like everybody knows and gets the hype. No matter what brand, Adidas, Nike, like over the first Yeezys, over any other colorway, it's it's that one. And then just to finish it off and here, like some special ones from the homies at Soulfly. They did this special release, so they put a few of us, a few people's names on here. They did them for Migos, a bunch of the homies. So I was fortunate enough to get my own pair on that. And I still have the original Lightning 17 Lows, which is one of the few Jordan Lows that I really love. More Jordan ones, Jordan 11 OGs, even, you know, some, these were like when Jam Master J passed away. Adidas did this whole special tribute thing, donation to charity letter, and the Jam Master J uh, Superstar Adidas. So I'll never wore those. I'm not much like of a superstar person in general, but just a cool story, especially for a legendary DJ. And uh, yeah, this is some of the top shelf stuff. I mean, the variety in here, obviously the garage, well, the variety in here is insane, the more top shelf stuff. So some of the other areas that he's told me that he has, he has a closet that's more like your everyday wear. Yep. Then he has his office with a lot of collective memorabilia, signed stuff. And then we have a shower full of shoes. Yeah, and it used to be a lot worse. You guys are lucky that actually, I wish you guys were here a few weeks ago. This is packed, but now it looks clean, so I guess I don't look as crazy. So yeah. we'll, we'll take you in there. All right, let's go over. Maybe we'll see the uh, the personal closet, more everyday shoes, and see some of his everyday wears. Perfect. All right, guys. So we made it over to kind of the office area where there's a lot more like memorabilia and stuff like that. So kind of let us know like what's going on right here. Sure. So this is kind of you know when the pandemic started, I had all this stuff laying around and kind of sitting out there. But I decided and I had these fake Zoom backgrounds. And I was like. Why would I have a fake Zoom back? Right. I got all this real cool stuff. So I just kind of like threw it around. So when I take my Zoom calls, I could show off some of the things that interest me and see it on camera all the time. But I mean, you have everything from sneakers to memorabilia, game worn stuff, um, stuff that they've honored me with, my cards, and a uh, little, little craziness. And I'm sure there's some shoes in here that you'll, you'll find either. I got on a Zoom call before this and uh, I saw these in the background. I was like, you're coming up with some heat already. Like yeah. these, this shoe alone, the Air Mags, obviously you guys know, this is not an easy wearable shoe. I'm sure you haven't worn these. I don't know, you know where you really wear these. Yeah, exactly. But... I tried them on once and yeah, it's just something that you can't really, you know, do much with, but you know. Mag, right? So, yeah. Can't go wrong with those, right? So, speaking of, you have your cards over here. Do you want to give us a little insight? He has a Tops project going on right now. Yeah. This is kind of something you guys can go and like look into some of the stuff he's got going on. So, what do you got going on with that? Yes, I'm so excited. I partnered up with the Tops. I'm a big, of course, you see all the memorabilia, you see my sports stuff. I have an insane card collection as well, which is for another episode. And I was so fortunate to, top, to partner up with them this year and create my own line of cards. So, for my line, I'm doing 20 cards where I remix these classic baseball cards and players with modern elements. So for me, mine was all sports and music because that's what makes so much sense and that's what my life is. I mean, you see NBA Finals trophy presentation, all access to then Marshmallow and Prince, all access, right? Like, that's what I do. I'm on the field at the Vikings games, you know, DJing everything from 2016 on. Um, so to be able to do these cards and mix Babe Ruth with Jay-Z, Satchel Paige with Nas, Byron Buxton, DMX, Honus Wagner and Wiz Khalifa has been so much fun. So we've got our own line with Tops, and then I'm also doing my own line of companion cards. So while if you see the original, like Tops card, and this is the one of one. So if you buy my card, they randomly insert this. So I had to find who had this, and we did a nice little trade, and you see the one of one with the gold frame. So anybody can get those and they start going for real money. Babe Ruth, Jay-Z, and then this is kind of the companion that we did. Again, super high, very premium quality, all foil, my own like branded card. So same thing, right? Like we'll show you the Satchel Page Nas, which is the main card right here. And this is the AP in the silver frame. And then this is the companion card, which is actually the back of the Illmatic cassette. <laughs> so like awesome. they kind of go together with it. So it's so much fun and to be able to do cool things like that. Yeah, I thought couple laying around for you. So we'll hook you up with the Babe Ruth. Sweet, the main thank you. And companion. And this one's really cool. This is like based on the most expensive card ever made, the Honus Wagner card, which is like a cigarette size style card. So all these ones are individually numbered and uh, yeah, just walk away with some parting gifts. Thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> so yeah, where can people get this Tops project when the new releases come out? Absolutely, so they're for 70 hours on tops.com, but if you wanna get up to date with all the latest info, just go to djski.com. All my companions are exclusively there and we do tons of contests all the time and all these different promotions. We just did something with PSA where even though they're shut down, they graded my cards. So we're doing a big promotion with them called the 101010 where I've individually signed 10 cards in the special ink. 
they've already pre-graded them as a 10 and then they graded the auto as a 10. So uh, super cool thing. So djski.com for all things cars. It's awesome. That's an awesome project, especially so fun. I saw this kind of arose over, you know, the quarantine era. And yeah. uh, I think that this is, I've seen a lot of people's different stuff in the project, so this is a super cool one. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, of course. I mean, it had to, I had to do something that made sense for me. And, and that's why you're gonna see some sneakers. There's some sneakers coming in some future ones, so you'll, you'll love those cards. But awesome. it's fun too, because like we get to do cards with people like King Griffey Jr. And I, you can see like right there, my favorite athlete growing up. I mean, it was Jordan and Griffey. That's why I have those two right there. So you see like the Jordan 11, OG Jordan 11s with, you know, you can tell by the way that the leather is, Jordan size, player issued right there, signed and authenticated by Jordan. And then game-worn Griffey cleats. And I love that model. It doesn't look good. They actually made a shoe of it, but it doesn't look good as a non-cleat shoe, but as a cleat, one of the most iconic ones. So game-worn and signed by Griffey. So, so cool being able to do cards with players that I like grew up idolizing and then mixing them with music, which is how I've made my career. And you just kind of breezed over. It's a signed Michael Jordan, <laughs> Jordan 11. Like that's not, that's not something you see very often. I think that's incredible. When I walked in, that's the first thing I saw. I was like, that is incredible, a signed Jordan sneaker. Yeah. Just among all the other things, there's a bunch of different signed shoes. Yeah. We have, what is a size 90 sneaker right there? <laughs> so this, these are Shaq's. This is the Shaq rookie shoe, which is actually a dope shoe at the time, but check these out, size 22. Cool. Massive, that, yeah. it doesn't make sense that somebody's foot is this big. It's insane, like, you could fit your whole, like, look, I could fit like damn near my whole arm in there. Like, that, is, that doesn't look it's real. It's ridiculous, and I'm 6'3", by the way. Like, it's not like, and we're not like, short standing this is it's insane like size 11 and a half 12 compared fit two shoes in there yeah and not even just like the length of it but like how wide and tall it's so what size is this specifically 22 22 that it it doesn't even make sense how <laughs> and, it custom made for sure and so this is like a pair of, just for comparison and, and this is crazy because garnett is seven feet tall as well mm -hmm. and this is size i think 13 and a half size 14 which we would think is a big shoe and yep. it like looks makes the shoe look mini so this one I love because loving Garnett. This was his actual the pair of shoes that he wore during the rookie season. He'd write his name on all the shoes during the game and then he signed it. That's why you see the two different types of ink. But um, just the up tempo, incredible shoe, and that's awesome. So personal to me because I used to go to Timberwolves games and watch him from you know you the, see the, the aging there and everything too. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so cool. And then like other icons that I've had the fortune of connecting and working with. We do all the stuff for the Big Three, which is Ice Cube's basketball league. Uh, Allen Iverson was in it the first season, so I had him sign. You know my favorite pair of Reeboks ever, which is the questions. Um, we've got some really cool boxes here so this one's really special because it was DJ AM rest in peace his actual personal pair that Nike did this promotion with Serato Serato's the DJ software that we use and that was his personal like edition so it comes with a full Serato kit in a custom color as well as an Air Force One with the Serato logo on it so that's super special this one's awesome because they numbered it out of 24 it's this limited edition Hall of Fame King Griffey Jr induction ceremony box and if you look in there it comes with just you know of course like shoes underneath it but just really incredible packaging and to get that especially from a player that i idolize it's incredible this came from my homie who's uh one of the best U.S. soccer players of all time, Clint Dempsey. Mm -hmm. So these are game worn from his time in the Premier League when he played for Tottenham Hotspur. And you can actually still see it's so awesome because if you pull them out, you'll see like the grass and the dirt. That and you're like, so this is from the Premier League uh, field. So, and you can see too on the other end of it, like I think this is a size 10, like in soccer cleats really tight. So, so much smaller than the, the Shaq oh, shoes. Yeah. And he, yeah. he signed them, but he'd see, he put his kid's name on embossed in each one so you see Lee's that's awesome and Jack so shout out to the homie Clint uh, it's just so cool to different things that are so unique like soccer basketball uh, baseball it's all these things there's so many different unique pairs here which this makes it so interesting so fun so this one's special too so I'm of course a Vikings fan shout out to the homie Adrian Peterson so the year he got suspended unfortunately he only played in one game and this is the shoe that he wore for it so it's actually his Nike deal ended after that that's so it's the crazy. only time he wore it I think it was in St. Louis so can still see all the field wear of it. He signed it afterwards. See what that shoe is. Uh, the Griffies. These ones are fun. So we've like some Jordan CC Sabathia PE game worn cleats with his number on that. Um, the homie Russell Westbrook sent me a pair of his game worn shoes. And of course, he got a triple double the night that he wore these. So uh, it's, it's really dope to see. And he writes a bunch. If you look at like, You'll see he writes why not, but there's a lot of little things, even though it's black kind of material, he wrote in black ink on it. So you gotta really look up close, but he's got a, I think it's like a size 14 and a half, so. And over here, another signed Jordan. So we showed you that 
countdown pack, number to 529. That's one of those shoes signed. Those are really special. That's actually a NBA Finals worn LeBron shoe. When wow. they did the Elite Edition, you know, um, LeBron 9s, which is one of my favorite colorways. They basically took the base, you know, version that they had and then made it more premium high-end version meant for performance in the playoffs. And then like Warren Sapp PEs, the other one of the Garnett one. I mean, you name it, we've got it covered here. It's th just this stuff here is so cool and just being able to showcase it all. Like I know it's very difficult to showcase shoes, cards, baseballs and all <laughs> yeah. that. So yeah, I've got to find a better way. So if you guys have ideas, leave them in the comments because I can see them. <laughs> I've run through so many different setups of <laughs> shoes and stuff and it is so cards are I think the hardest because they're such a small piece. And then obviously, you know, it's baseball tough, and stuff right? as well. But you do have some stuff in that closet back there. There's a few oh, yeah. little things that I want you to show them. There's one specifically, there is a Kobe jersey back there that I want you to pull out. And if there's anything else in there, um, he's told me about a couple of these things. Insane, like there's so many different unique stories to each of these pieces that it is so interesting to me to see. Like, I, I wanna sit back and just watch because I wanna learn about this stuff as much as you guys do. We talked about the Kobe jersey, so. Yeah. This is actually really special. This was actually a game worn. I'm about to send this off because it's going to get vaulted. It's a, a game worn rookie Kobe Bryant authenticated jersey. That's insane. And it's so cool because the year that he came in the league, it was the NBA's, I believe, 75th anniversary. So they did these gold patches on it. And this was towards the end of the season that he wore this jersey because they actually, you know, didn't want to make, they ran out of jerseys with the patches on them. And you can see right here, body length plus four. This is the player worn edition designed and tailored exclusively for the Lakers, 95, 96. Um, they actually had to take old jerseys because they were changing from champion to another brand and they just actually pulled off the you know unstitched them and had to stitch those on so you see this patch manually stitched so he met uniform code with it but i mean of course that's incredible and i'm an icon and somebody that i had the fortune of going to his last game you know producing something with him so so to have this is just iconic and some some other fun things that we'll run through is like Last Dance. This was actually Scottie Pippen's shooting shirt from that NBA Finals. This was from the Utah Jazz, or Ball Boy, I think it was certified from. Um, of course, I teach all the Vikings game and I'm a diehard Vikings fan. 98 Vikings were it. Game worn Moss jersey. I think this is from 2001. Uh, a game against Seattle. They actually lost, but he scored two touchdowns in it. And it's so cool because if you look up close, you see all like the wear and like the helmet marks. And you see it if you look in the photos from the game, you see those same marks so you can photo match it. And you see like the different types of cut, right? Like in the arms, it's not a traditional jersey and it goes super long and then has the player edition tags all over it. And then just random things like Alex Rodriguez game worn. Uh, jersey from the 1998 season where he had the 40-40 season. This one's special as a Twins fan. They only wore this jersey twice and got killed every time they wore it. And Brad Radke was a starting pitcher in one of them, so they never wore it again because it was bad luck. So I got one of those. 91 Twins World Series game worn jersey. Kirby Puckett, 91 Twins signed jersey by the whole team. And that's what like got me into sports as a kid. That year, Albert Pujols game worn signed. Randy Johnson game worn signed. Garnett all-star jersey signed. So. Yeah, it goes on and on and on. We're about to do something special and put these all on display somewhere else. So you get to see them before they get shipped off. That's that's incredible. <laughs> I know, I'm glad I get to see them. That's yeah. crazy. Cool, well, that is kind of the wrap up of the office. We still have two more areas to hit and there's something special, a Sprinter van that has a whole setup for sneakers and everything. I don't even know much on it. So uh, let's go, let's keep moving, keep moving on to the next area, which is gonna be the closet with some of the more everyday stuff. So this is what you call the more personal closet, the more everyday shoes. So kind of run us through some of the shoes that you you know wear more often. Yeah, this is kind of rotation, right? Like all the other stuff is so all over the place and take you a day just to figure out what to wear. So this, I mean, you kind of see these are things that I can just grab and go, anything that you need real quick. And again, pretty much all variety from some of my favorite. These are such a so SB on foot too, right? To like Garnets that we've shown you, uh, Nike ID, Air Max 95s, uh, you name it. We've got a little everything. Even the Homie Mosh's shoe, which by the way, Fire up close, shout out to Tommy Mosh. So the Dry Tortuga is right there. Um, one of my favorite colorways and blockings, Jordan 13s. Cool little things, Air Max 90, probably shoe I've worn the most. These are the East London edition. Um, just clean colorway and blocking, so. Easy I mean, silhouette to wear. Even running shoes, right? Yeah, let's see. He's talking about some shoes, like would people care to see these? And I was like, yeah, people would love to see some running shoes, so. So I love these. I mean, to to me, the the Air, I think it's a Zoom, what is it? The Zoom Vaporfly Next Percentage or whatever. Just such a great running shoe. This is the first running shoe that I've actually been able to really go good, decent distances without 
my knees and legs starting to hurt and they just you know the foam padding obviously you see is so thick mm -hmm. the zoom air on the forefront and four heels is just incredibly soft and just an amazing incredible running shoe so i think i have three or four of these right now this is my third one that i'm on and i just bought a fourth one somewhere to as a backup to that when those kind of <laughs> go out but just my favorite running shoe I mean you can see I have a bunch of other running shoes that I've tried over the years but to me that's the one that you know I'm running with right now cool so other than that we see a ton I see a ton of Jordan <laughs> yeah. ones a lot of Jordan ones which is such an easy wear we got some Sean Witherspoons we got some Paras here we got you know all kinds of different shoes a lot of SBs over there so what are kind of some of the favorites I know you pulled a couple down that you know yeah. you want to showcase a ton of things I mean right now I love I've been wearing these a lot like this this year's I think Air Max Zeros I really like a lot of the Skepta shoes one of the highlights for me are these 97s, mm -hmm. um, and I love too because it's my initials, so I get to say the yeah. SK Air on the inside. Yeah. Um, let's see what else do we have? Uh, people love like the low waffle, the Sakai low yeah. waffles, which just incredible. Maybe the shoe of the year last year. Yeah. We see foam posits, Air Max 95s that we love. If we go through here and see what's kind of sitting around. Again, Air Max 95s, I got these in Japan when I did a show out there. It's the country camo, which is just a really cool kind of camo pattern. and a unique shoe right there. Uh, speaking of Japan, this is the Atmos exclusive kind of uh, colorway, this emerald colorway uh, that only came out in Japan. So love these just because it has the boxes. And again, I'm a sucker for those style colors. But now for some of the stuff that you guys would really love. SB oh Dunks. Oh. So born in the USA. Born this, in the USA. I've had a pair be, of those before. This might be my favorite SB Dunk ever, just because of the color blocking. I love the denim. It's like a, a washed, almost silver blue denim. Mm -hmm. You get so many different colors. You can do different things in the laces. I put red ones in right now. I usually have it white, but you know, you get the such clean classic color blockings, the US flag. So just such a sick pair. I have several of these in there. He was looking around through the closet trying to find some stuff that he likes, and he pulled out like three pairs of those. And I'm <laughs> yeah. like, that that's such a shoe in itself. Love it. The um, models are incredible, right? In amazing condition. Look at the pink there. You guys have seen, I've had about four pairs of these. Three of them, this is almost like yellow. Like the yeah. pink is gone. So these are in amazing condition. Love these. For, hey, every day, this is one of my favorite shoes of the last year. It's the Air Max 90 Undefeated Edition. So I have little all light. the colors. And I just love how they did a different color blocking in the 90 where they put they did that little like kind of color like loop around it and you get the Undefeated Lace Locks. Uh, over here more these ones are so fire and these are dead stock if they were worn they'd actually be bronze because they're bronze underneath so they're meant oh. to, to rub off the statue of liberty check that out SBs. so i guess this is kind of like the lance mountains that they yeah. have where the more you wear the more it breaks away i didn't even know these existed it's those are so, crazy so clean and, and you know i just love this actual like green colorway in the laces i'm like i don't want to wear them i don't want them to bronze even though yeah. the bronze ones look super super sick and a gang of stuff i mean i want you to talk about these yeah these are crazy so this is a new brand reza um and typically like light up shoes can oftentimes not be done that cool but mm -hmm. i talked to them and they sent me a pair as so i was like hey, i want to order one and they just are so sick up close i've been wearing them and i get actually more people talking about them than jordan's than anything else super comfortable super clean and the light at night just like glows i posted a picture of them on my instagram and people went crazy but actually like for daily wear just because they're super comfortable and like mm -hmm. stand out just enough and it's like a, they're pretty like a super premium shoe super super sick so i love these and just look at the case they come on right like you put them on and that's how they charge right like yes. and it'll light up blue when they're done or green or blue when they're done charging but it's that simple so you get a really cool display in them so and i think that's like you said the light lighting of a shoe could come off as cheesy very yeah. easily and like when i first saw those like that's that looks like it's yeah, done right. Sick, like it's dude. not like a six-year-old's light-up shoe. It's yeah. like a proper, you know, look. It looks like Tron shoes. Or something. And it's a great story. They have like this light your. You see it right here. This is the original of the box. They come and it's light your own path. So it's all about like telling a story. So I really resonated with the story. They're made in the U.S. by a kid from Detroit. So like, really, really cool story. So shout out the homies at Reza. But yeah, I mean, you see everything from like Ultra Boosts. Uh, oh, I love these Ultra Boosts. I wore these a lot. Oh yeah, the nice kicks ones. So just like so clean with the tie dye. This is these came like right before tie dye really blew up and everybody was on it. And people were making fun of me. They were like, tie dye is not cool. Why are you wearing that? Then everybody started wearing tie dye. You know, like two months later. And you have a lot of Nike, but I'm sure you were around for the era of Adidas when yeah. you know the Ultra Boosts were big, the NMDs Look were big. Look at all these Ultra Boosts, uh, right? Yeah, and it was like the cream colorway. I remember mm -hmm. that one. I tried so hard to get those. Like, there's so many different ones when they first came out. That, the cranes right there. I bought those <laughs> and I returned them to Foot Locker. And, and I went back and they were completely gone. 
such, it's such an, such an iconic part. pair. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. Like, I loved, I got into, they sent me a pair of Ultra Boost right when, at the time, Yeezy, uh, before, when Kanye signed, before any Yeezys came out. And I just wore them as running shoes, the, the black and blue original colorway, yep. Concord. And I was like, these are really, like, comfortable, dope shoes. And I don't wear that many Adidas. I'm generally, like, Nike, Jordan. And I was like, these are good. So I started, like, going all, and then it exploded with Kanye and all that. And then, unfortunately, they just, like, made too many. Same with NMDs. I had so many of those. And, like, this is the dopest yep. shoe. And then I crushed it, almost like what Nike did with the Roshis, so. But still, I kept like a few of the special ones. Like I still like the Game of Thrones ones, the cream ones, and I put those pink laces in there, the Ultra Boost, uh, nice kicks. But yeah, I mean, Jordan, let me go up here. You see a, variety. a little everything. This is probably my favorite from the tin collection. You said 97 is your favorite, so I figured you had to have these. So love those. You know which ones I don't have? One pair I'm looking for is both the, the Be True, the Serena ones, and yep. the other, the ones in my color, the gray and light green. So I was like, oh, I'll wait till they come down and they keep going up. So yep, the I'm Serena Blazers, that. my all time favorite blazer that I've owned. I, I beat so them into the crazy. ground. So crazy. So yeah, I mean, like, even cool things. I'll show you a couple things that you haven't seen every day. This is, these are deflated, but they did these for Air Max day where uh -huh. they put the Air Max shoes in there. Mm -hmm. This one's really cool. So for flu game, I did this anniversary event I DJed for Jordan and they did this special giveaway where this is actually a doctor's bag. So the shoe came in this for the flu game and the shoes actually come in this special break open in case of emergency That's pack. That's so cool. I never, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. So there's sometimes like, there's all these random really cool packs and I've never opened these. I don't want to open them. They're still sealed. But inside is the Jordan 12 flu games and like, a little like doctor's oh, notepad. Yeah, so it's like fun things like this. I've been fortunate enough to just gather over the years, make my own stuff with Adidas, and yeah, fun times, lots of good stuff. That's awesome. Just, again, so much variety. Yeah. There's one thing though, one more kind of really interesting thing. He kept mentioning he has a shower with shoes in it. He's <laughs> taking a lot of them out, but let's, I wanna see this shower. I guess it's like in your office. It's just yeah. like extra storage. It's extra, sh yeah, we never use the shower. So um, decided to just turn it into a shoe locker. Unfortunately, I've been moving it all out. So you guys get to see it a little later on. So there's still a couple in there. All right, let's go to the shower. Yeah. Okay, so we're here in the closet in the bathroom. So yeah. what's going on here? So in my office, it actually doubles as a bedroom, but uh, I had extra room. I don't use this shower and I totally ran out of room. The garage was totally full, like all the way to the ceilings before I started putting stuff in storage. My other closet was full. I have another closet in my room with shoes that I'm just like wearing in rotation. You guys haven't even seen. And you know, this used to be packed to the top and I've cut it down. So I'm glad I don't look as crazy, but I guess looking at it, it's still a little ridiculous. So this is what, a couple of Jordan 13s in here? Yeah, I kind of left all my 13s in here. There's like random things like, I don't know why these are sitting out, like some OG, like I love these. These were the LA Air Force Ones. I had like four pairs of these. Uh, Those are super clean. Yeah, and you can just see the quality, I think. 2002, so. That's a, these that's are like a high quality, thing. thick leather. You have a logo, obviously, these are clean. Yeah, super sick, and then like, like random things. Like, damn, I forgot these. Look at what's happened, OG oh Jordan God, 13s. The bubble. The bubble, like I've seen the bubble fog up, but I've actually never seen that before. So wear your shoes, kids. But yeah. You can even see like the difference in materials, like the 3M material on this was so good back in the day. The quality of the suede and stuff is fun. Like these are kind of cool. This was the first shoe back in the day. This is how OG they were to have a CD-ROM. This is the oh Jordan 17 and it was like revolutionary. It wasn't even a DVD, a CD-ROM. So these are the OG 17s that came in this pack. And this is the first shoe that Jordan had, I believe, when he was on the Wizards. Most random pickups from like sneakers, like for hiking. Those are <laughs> cool. Actually, yeah, they look dumb up close. So just sitting on the kitchen <laughs> the bathroom counter is some pinnacle Jordan 1s. So these are the $400 Jordan 1s that are done in just like premium leather and materials. So there's like the all black version. These are like 450 retail, which is insane. Yeah. Like kind of the Louis Vuitton. Oh my God, I love those. Yeah, these are so sick because they age and you can see they've aged a little. They used to be a little bit lighter. It's almost like the Louis Vuitton style leather and colorway. And especially in the back, you see it aging like that. Kind of my favorite colorway too is that like white, I guess like, uh, what material is it? It's some crazy like- Stingray? Yeah, exactly. Stingray. stingray material. It's funny, I used to have all these shelves filled with it, but I've been getting better and cleaning it up, but you can see the soap in the bathroom. So there you go. Worst thing about living in LA is the traffic. So when I started doing my TV show, we were filming in an Orange County at a certain point, and I was like, I can't sit in traffic. It could be two and a half hours potentially each way from LA to, to OC, and ended up getting the Sprinter van for that, and it's been the best investment purchase I've ever made. I get to take meetings, roll around town, go wherever I want without being stressed out. We've taken it across the country. We've done car rallies like Gold Rush. It's just the best 
I guess, automobile to, to get around. Everybody talks about a Rolls Royce and a Phantom and all that. Best is being driven in a Sprinter, I'm yeah. telling you, and it's cheaper than some of those options. And so you made this custom setup in the back of it. Kind of explain what's going on there. Yeah, so the whole thing is custom built. When you get the Sprinter, it literally comes, like windows are an option. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the same car that you see UPS FedEx driving. It's the same car that they use as ambulances. So if you get one, get the ambulance package because it has better suspension, it's softer. And that's one thing that I've learned. And you know, it has everything from a lay flat bed, of course, like high speed internet that works anywhere with unlimited cap there, you know, huge 4K TVs, a really cool, like almost like old school Bentley themed or Maybach themed roof, um, mm -hmm. as well as the Rolls Royce Starlight roof in the back and lay flat seats, I mean, anything you want. And the coolest thing that you'll really appreciate is the mobile wardrobe. So mm -hmm. when we're filming the show, there's multiple ch outfit changes and things. And when you travel in the country too, and I take it on the road pretty much, you know, anywhere within like Vegas, LA, Phoenix, San Francisco, we can send it up to easily. I can bring all of my stuff in there and I built all these really cool custom shoe shelves in there. So I can store a ton of pairs wherever it is, which is really helpful when you go out shopping for a day. Ski, thank you so much for allowing us to come and view all of your shoes. Is there anywhere that they can check you out on social media or anything you want to plug? Of course, yeah, just check me out at DJ Ski and for everything else, just djski.com. And I'm really active in my Discord. So discord.gg slash ski. Check me out there. I appreciate all the support. And um, biggest thing right now I'm working on that I'm most excited about is these cards. So uh, go grab them. Yeah, go ahead and check out the Tops Project. Go ahead and check out the website, his Instagram, everything like that. Thank you again so much for allowing us to come into your house and check out all these you. shoes. We could spend days here trying to go through all the shoes, but I'm glad we got to kind of showcase a few different unique pairs. And I know one day we'll have to come back and you'll have four times the amount of shoes we'll have to go through. It's a problem. It's a problem, Harrison. Thank you so much, man. Yep, from, a, no from an old school sneaker OG to a new school <laughs> sneaker OG, man, we appreciate you guys. And shout out to everybody that's been watching and supporting us over the years. So, awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.